This kick streamer is ruining her life for five minutes of fame. She just recently went on a live and did the most alarming prank any of today's streamers have ever done. So I'm literally doing a social experiment today on little kids. And we all know that influencers are ready to do whatever it takes to get more views and clout. And even though most of their pranks are predictable and clearly scripted, this time it was different because this girl did something super dangerous. Oh, another, oh, there's cop. another cop. Another cop. She and her filming crew thought it would be funny to take the so-called kidnapping van, write free candy on it, and try to get kids inside of the van. Do you guys want some free candy? Free candy? We're giving out free candy. But that's not even the craziest part, because this insane prank backfired so badly that it probably ruined this streamer's whole life. Natalie Reynolds, the brain behind the kidnapping prank operation, is known for doing ridiculous things just to get the attention of the public. But most often, it goes terribly wrong, such as the case when she was finally held responsible for her actions. You see, after seeing this girl who had a handcuffed man inside her van and was trying to get kids on board too, someone called the police, and Natalie and her crew got arrested. Get out of the car. Oh God, oh get on the ground. Get out of the car now. Okay, okay, okay. The live stream ended there, so many thought Natalie finally got what she deserved. However, not long after that, she started posting again. So people figured out it was all set up and scripted just like her alleged mugshots. But this is not the first time Natalie's done something this insane. Apart from getting kids into her van, she also likes asking them inappropriate questions about adult movie actors. You can name this actor, I'll buy whatever you want. Lana Rhodes. Lana Rhodes? She received such huge backlash that she even got her TikTok account banned at one point. But that didn't stop Natalie from getting into trouble again. She recently got so hungry for attention that she had her whole body painted and went straight to the gym. You guessed it, it all went south for her. She posted a video complaining about a guy pressing her for wearing painted pants. If you don't have clothes on, you need to be out of here, man. She obviously didn't expect this to backfire on her terribly because people started taking this man's side and calling her out. This is indecent exposure. You should be on the SO registry. That dude was 100% right. He called out your degenerate behavior and you played victim. Did you really think we would take your side? But then she replied with side-by-side -side pictures of herself and bodybuilders complaining about double standards. However, she still couldn't get people to take her side. But instead of focusing on this, Natalie should just probably try to actively stay out of jail, especially now that she got sued by Neon's manager, Kane, because she allegedly tried to ruin Neon's reputation by accusing his manager of stealing from her. Bro, I literally want to throw up even just like thinking about the situation. I got over so hard. According to her, Kane took 30K from her for hosting, but that hosting allegedly never happened. So after Natalie called him out, Kane denied everything and filed a lawsuit against her. However, some think that this trial is never going to happen because Natalie probably made it all up for clout. What do you guys think? Is this really the end of the road for Natalie?